What is up, YouTube? ZukiM1 here, and I am back with a brand new YouTube video. Today, I am bringing you guys another story time with Zuki talking about elementary school. So, <clears throat> with the school time year just now rolling in, it's about one or two, three weeks about into it. I thought it'd be a good idea to share some of my uh, <laughs> my school year stories and stuff like that, and just I don't know, uh, let you guys know how it was for me when I was in school and things of that nature. Um. I thought I'd do it by like um, each different segment of school. So like from elementary school to high school and then college, right? Uh, so, oh, and by the way, in case you guys didn't know, yes, I, I am in college. I am not 16 or 17. I am an adult. Um, so yeah, now that we got that out the way, let's get on with the video. <laughs> So, <clears throat> um, well, uh, I guess I should start off with uh, the earliest memory of elementary school that I have. Uh, I was living with my grandparents right after my uh, home from when I was living with my dad. As I told you guys in my story time with uh, my story time about my dad, in case you guys don't remember, I put a video thumb right here. You see right here. Um, yeah, so, um, the story time with my dad, uh, it was, um, it was pretty much my dad had died saving me from a burning building, and when he died, I moved in with my grandparents. So, after I moved in with my grandparents, uh, they had me go to this school down the street from them, and when I went there, right, my whole perception of, like, of the world was, like, <clears throat> everybody's super nice, everybody's super clean, like, there's no such thing as, like, bullying, there's no such thing as, like, uh, you know, people being made fun of just because they like something or anything like that, because this is what TV had used to project onto us, right? They used to project that, you know, everybody's nice, everybody's uh, really clean, and everybody's just really, you know, um, you know, everybody has um the good about them right there was no such thing as bad as far as the early 90s television shows used to proje uh, project it right so i get to school and when i get there immediately um you know i i, I get a culture shock right like everybody's mean everybody's rude everybody's cussing i mean and these are little kids like we're like five or six at the time so i'm like what 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 right like my brain was just not ready to comprehend that right because my me growing up i always thought that kids were well behaved and that everybody was super nice and no one did anything wrong so when i got in there and i saw that it was the exact opposite i was just what right so i get in trouble one time and i thought this was so hypocritical i got in trouble one time because I had cussed at one of the students who was cussing at me, but they didn't get called cussing. I got called cussing. So because I got called cussing, they called the teacher and then they had the teacher come and bring my grandparents up to the school. And they was like, well, you know, Mr. Minute, uh, well, Herbert is really, really smart. He's a very bright student. He, he shows a lot of promise, which is why we're pulling him aside to have him. Um, look at different options. Right now, where he is, he could he could skip a grade if he wants to, and things of that nature. So they was asking me if I wanted to skip school, uh, skip a grade, and I was like, Nah, I, I want to stay in the grade that I'm at, you know, and stuff like that. Biggest mistake of my life. I should have skipped that grade. I should have skipped that grade. Um, but I was six. I don't even know why they even let a six year old make that type of decision. But anywho, regardless of the fact. Fast forward a little bit, I get to second or third grade or whatever. First and second grade was pretty sweet. There was nothing really major that happened in there. But third grade, oh, man, when I told you I had a culture shock back in preschool, I had a huge culture shock in third grade. I was getting bullied on by girls. I was getting bullied on by boys. I was getting bullied on by fucking parents. Yes, my mom was bullying me. Bro, like, it was every, everybody wanted the piece of me. And I was just like, dang. Can I get a break? Right? So, like, 
my moms used to bully me by saying that if I don't stand up for myself and fight the people who are trying to bully me, then she's going to be my ass, right? And the people who used to try to bully me never used to want to fight me by themselves. It was always like three or four guys. So it was always three or four guys that I had to fight against because there wasn't anybody who wanted to fight me 1v1. And then the girls used to bully me by saying that I used to smell and that I was fat and that I was ugly and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, some of them used to physically hit me. And I grew up under the impression that you're not supposed to hit girls, right? So... I used to get hit by girls, and I used to look at them, and I couldn't do anything because, you know, they're a girl. So I was just like, you know, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm just supposed to sit here and just take this abuse, right? And so, you know, that, that happened for throughout my whole entire elementary school years and stuff like that or whatever. Fifth grade, it was, I guess it was a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Like, fifth grade was a little bit better. I have failed my fourth grade year because I wanted to get attention from my mom. So growing up, I didn't get that much attention from my mom. And you got, you guys are going to see that in a video that I'm making tomorrow about my mom. But uh, essentially, I had a really rough relationship with my mom growing up. And I wanted more attention from her. I wanted her to step up and be a mom and stuff like that. But I don't know if it was just wasn't in the stars for her or something like that. I don't know. Um, but regardless of the fact, I was a very bitter kid, so I decided that I was going to fail the fourth grade to try to get attention from my mom, and I got nothing out of her. She didn't even bother to say, oh, well, you know, I'm disappointed in you, or I want you to try better. She didn't even care. So it, it hit me saying, damn, you know, like, if I don't put effort into my life, no one will. Literally, no one will. So I had to make sure that I was on my own ass. I was pushing myself forward. I was making sure that I achieved my goals. So fifth grade, um, I had uh, I had a girlfriend. Then I had to leave my girlfriend because my mom moved. Then in sixth grade, I was um, I was getting bullied again, and but I had a little bit more confidence at this point in my life because. I was ex I was actually able to talk to girls now and stuff like that or whatever. And I had friends for the first time ever. So, you know, things were picking up just a little bit. Seventh grade was rough. Because those same friends that I had had left because they said that I didn't ride with them during a moment when they wanted me to ride with them and stuff like that or whatever. So they stopped hanging out with me. They stopped being my friends and stuff like that or whatever. So it was just me by myself again. And um in eighth grade. I just didn't give a fuck anymore. Like, at that point in my life, I was just like, man, I don't care what anybody's going to do. I don't care what anybody's going to say to me. My eight years of torment is over. No more bullying. No more uh, people uh, No more people making fun of my weight. No more, no more people making fun of my height. None of that stuff. Uh, it's over. It's done. I wish somebody would try to say something to me now. Right? So I was at the... I don't give a fuck. Don't say nothing to me. If you say anything to me, I'm going to beat your ass type of mode. Even though, if I'm being 1,000% honest, I probably would have never hit anybody. But that's beside the point, right? That's the persona that I gave off, right? It was a I don't give a fuck type of persona. And because of that, nobody really fucked with me in my 8th grade year. And it was pretty easy, right? Um, and, um, yeah. And that was pretty much it. That was my whole elementary school year experience. It was it was a pretty unique experience to be honest. It was it taught me a lot, right? It taught me how to stand up for myself. It taught me how to uh not depend on others for your success. It taught me that you are um going to be the best friend that you have, right? Not saying that you can't make really, really good friends, but you have to be friends with yourself first before you can make friends like that. And yeah, that was that was pretty much it, you know. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We are currently on our goal to try to get to 1,500 subs. So if you guys can share this with your friends and families, that would be really cool. Uh, but, yeah, with that, I will close out the video. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.